These are rude customers who got owned and humiliated. Let's begin. These entitled customers decided that they didn't need to pay for the items that they were stealing before being recorded and chased outside. These thieves were so quick to leave the scene that they even forgot to remove the trolley from underneath their car before damaging their vehicle in an attempt to get away. Let's have a look. Call the cops. Get the, uh, a mail with a big box. Okay, so this Karen was asked to follow the rules of this restaurant several times and refused to comply. By the time she had followed the rules, it was too little too late and she was denied service. This Karen had already paid for her food, but she was offered a refund. But as this Karen was too busy abusing and belittling the employees, she forgot to just take her money and leave or go someplace else and ended up in this huge altercation. Let's have a look. What's he gonna do though? Well, the police Ain't are coming. Video you wanna keep what going? that video do? Neither what that video, video do? Time, what that video do? Time. What that video yeah. do though? I give you your money back. What do that video do? I, I pay for my food. I gave you your money, give back. money back. I already gave you your money back. As you can see right here. Girl, you told me stupid about it with your little scare. Okay, well you're gonna leave or the police gonna make you leave. Okay, then they're coming. I just can't. I'm gonna tell them how safe it is to make sure you get fired. That's great. You do that. You broke bond. Both of you need to step outside until you have a mask on, okay? Girl, I got my mask on. I'm not talking to you. She want to buy the other She ruled it. She ruled it. I'll give you a Crazy shit about it is. She's talking about some weed to stand outside because we got to order in food, but everybody in it is standing in it. This Karen was demanding her dollar back inside of this convenience store as she wasn't happy with the product. She tried everything to get her dollar back including abusing the employee and yelling at him for several minutes. Things escalated quickly when she actually started picking up items on the counter and throwing them at him before calling him all sorts of names and making all sorts of accusations towards him. Let's have a look. Call the police please, I'm waiting. Unfortunately the phone's not working. Oh the phone, you want me to call him? Yeah. You want me to call him? Yeah. Cause I will. Go ahead. Give me my money back. Now. I'm not going to deal with a belligerent I, customer. I am not belligerent. You are. You are just respectful, dude. I did not disrespect you. Oh, you didn't? No. You, did, you didn't? No. You didn't. So when I pick up a dollar mother item and you want to throw it at me? I did not throw it. And tell me it. that you have bull, mother bull. I put it back. No, 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 no. This is what you did. I'm going to show you what you did, homeboy. Right here. One dollar. One dollar is what it says, right? So I bring it up to your counter, you say it's the wrong price. I take you over there to show you it's a dollar. If you go like this and you say, I ain't got to change it. Give me my money back. You're not going to disrespect me. Your phone don't work. I'll call the cops. I Give me my money it. back. You are disrespectful. I hear you. You hear me? Yep. No. No. Who the f do you think you are? I forgot my oh, name. Oh, don't refund my money. Tell her to leave the store and I'll refund it to you. I'll call the cops because I'm a veteran. Cops love us. I'm not gonna. I'm work. not. You're gonna so no, you you're say, gonna go to refund my money. I'm not gonna deal with her while she's yelling at me. I didn't if, deal if, with you. If, if, if I re I return this to you because you're being respectful and if she gets out, this I'll is go. My husband. You I don't care. Your husband was raised my right. My husband would have seen you throw that at me. Hey,
Like when you know what's going to happen. Yeah, something to say. I'm listening. Ain't got nothing good. to say. As long as we're Nobody done talking, I'm done talking. Now. Oh, okay. Hurry up and eat and get the out. Thank you. Hurry up and eat and get the out. I'm trying. Eat. I'm trying. Don't look at me. Eat at your, look at your food. You're in my face. Look at your food. Now I'm sitting over you. Like, how are you okay doing this? I'm doing it. Don't make me rob you. Eat your food. Rob me of what? Eat your food. You want it? Take it. No, give it to me. Take it. Give it to me. Put it in my hand. For what? Put it in my hand. Think you're Put so it in my okay, so this Karen was in this drive through and she was being incredibly disrespectful towards this employee. This employee decided enough was enough and decided to give her the same attitude back and told her that she didn't care about her problems or her order and told her to go away. This Karen was shocked and humiliated when she realized she wasn't going to get her way. Let's have a look. Good morning. Get away from the window. I'm not talking to you anymore. I don't care. You don't care? No. Give me the manager. Can you hear her talking to me? Can you put that to number one? Your mom don't care how I talk to you. She not going to do nothing. What do you mean she don't care how I talk to you? She's not, you better get her. You better. You better do it right now. I'm gonna watch you do it right now because that is. A, uh, 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 what? Don't talk to me like that. I talk to you however I want. You gonna Please talk to me however you want? Yeah. You. <laughs> Are you? Do you hear that? No, no, no. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, get out my draft. Come on. Come on. She jumped out the way. Oh. Come on. 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 This entitled customer was demanding his coffee, even though he wasn't following the same rules as everybody else. For this reason, he was obviously denied service and asked to leave the premise, which he refused to do, before getting extremely aggressive with the employees. This entitled customer then threw a big temper tantrum when he started throwing all of the products around the store and everything off the counter and register. Let's have a look. What do you mean, the, the same thing that I mean, no mess. When? No, 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 what, after the governor got kicked out? No. Or which governor? No, 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 I want to hear this, I want to hear this, let's go. Who, who, who made the demands? Who? The signs don't mean nothing. The signs don't mean nothing. Can you just, you know, make my... Okay, so this Karen was being an incredibly difficult customer at this fast food restaurant. Not only was she not following the same rules as everybody else, but she was actually complaining about how long it was taking to get her food, even though they were still politely serving her when she wasn't following the rules. She then turned to the other customers and tried to encourage them to not follow the rules as well, which didn't end very well for her. Let's have a look.
Okay, so this Karen found herself in an argument with this employee because he didn't like her attitude and she wasn't happy that he called her out for it. This Karen then started belittling this employee, trying to make all sorts of demands towards him before telling him to go and get his manager in an attempt to get him fired. This Karen then got the manager involved and demanded a refund and her money back immediately, only to be completely put in her place by this employee. Let's have a look. Okay, so this lady had bought something over for repairs and the gentleman wanted a deposit before he would touch the property. Now this Karen believes the gentleman is not capable of doing the work and for this reason she actually refuses to pay a deposit. For this reason the gentleman is obviously not going to touch the work and that's when this Karen starts screaming and abusing at him. Let's have a look. <laughs> Okay, so this group of friends had a huge lunch together and when the bill arrived, they actually got out of their chairs and literally ran away. This was a very expensive dine and dash, which would have cost the restaurant a lot of money, only they completely forgot about their car keys and accessories and had to do the walk of shame and return to the restaurant to retrieve their items. Have a look. <laughs> Y'all went to the bathroom? Trying to go sit in there? Get him, shorty! Shot! 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 Get him, shorty! Shot, Tao! Yeah, dummy. Okay, so this male Karen was getting his car towed and he refused to pay the fee or get out of his vehicle. This led to an altercation between the tow truck driver and himself and this Karen was anything but polite about the situation. After arguing back and forth with the tow truck driver for quite some time and realizing his vehicle wasn't going to be dropped, he tried to abuse his way out of it instead. Let's have a look. I don't even know who the f*** you are! I don't, don't even know who the f*** you are and you want me to pay you i'm the tow man well i don't know you why would i want to pay you because i got your car on my truck okay well good for you now you could go away go ahead take me home with it I don't go need ahead to take, take you away with it go ahead go ahead i don't go need ahead. to pay for damages dude. you're making me laugh dude really oh, you're making a fool you. out of yourself it's very simple man give me 50 bucks i drop the car you're on your way why would you like to, to drop your car why yeah, you do it for free regardless. i do it for free Go ahead, give me your ride for me. Okay. Get ready. It's gonna be fun. 
this crazy male Karen confronted a random lady at this Walmart for literally no reason. This crazy Karen threatened her and started getting confrontational as well when the lady literally didn't do anything and didn't even know who this guy was. This aggressive male Karen then stated that they would have to call the authorities on him if they wanted him to leave the premises, which he refused to do before having a total meltdown. Let's have a look. Yeah, take a deep breath. Ha! Right back at you, your own medicine. You don't know who the f you're f with. I don't give a Mind your business, you understand me? Sir, what's the problem? Ask her. Ask her. I was literally not doing anything. Bull <laughs> Bull I ain't leaving after this is all. Nope. Bull call, call PD. We're gonna call PD, but yeah. your what's behavior is not gonna be tolerated. I don't give a well, she's a minor business and stay out of my well, right because now, she doesn't know the, the, what the right is going on. I don't give a I don't give a I don't give a flying rat. No bullshit. You know what the Did you receive my contacts? No. My email? No. No that. You need to leave. Bullshit leaving. I ain't Leave it. That's all right. I mean, we'll get the cops in here. Get the cops in here. I give a. You know exactly what's going on, Steve. I know my contacts are lost, my messages, and my photos. I don't give a flying. I don't give a flying. This gentleman was checking into his hotel and he was being quite disrespectful to the staff. The staff member couldn't find his reservation and he couldn't find his booking ID confirmation so there was no way to know if he actually had a room there or not. He then took his frustration out on the employee which he instantly regretted when she literally quit on the spot and walked out of the hotel. This left this gentleman with no room and nobody to talk or complain to. Let's have a look. <laughs> Trying to help us? That's your job to check us in. You, you said I could not log in. Who's off the street could help us? I could not log in to help you, okay? Mr. Parrish told me to get your confirmation numbers and your ID and could give y'all a key and put y'all in a room. Now, y'all don't want to do that. You want my confirmation number? You have my ID, so is that the missing link? You need my confirmation number? Then you'll get me in a room? You, you were the one being about holding me just now. Yeah, I am. Because Is now it? I'm really f off. We should f up at him. Who? Not me. Parrish. The owner of the hotel. I'm here all by myself. So with my confirmation number and my ID, you can check me in. Is that correct? Yeah. Is that correct? Okay, so this Karen was not happy at this department of transport and demanded to speak to corporate. He was inevitably taken to the side when this gentleman tried to defuse the situation and calm him down when he decided to have a total meltdown at him. This male Karen created this huge scene and wouldn't even apologize for his attitude even after this nice employee went out of his way to help him. Let's have a look. Your people look at the way you act. Look the way I act. Your people are telling me that I gotta go put two more hours into this. When I have eight hours into it already. Yes, you two. You, you two. I don't want to talk to your boss. I am. You're the boss? Well, who is your boss? You may be the boss of this. Yep. But who Here, you know what? Boss? I'm gonna do you a favor. I'm gonna give you my business card. You call the Department of Public Safety, you make sure you use my name. I will, I will sir. Thank you very much. You have a great day. Yeah. And I do apologize for making a scene, but you gotta understand I'm, where I'm coming from. I'm, we're past that, sir. We're past that. If you want to apologize to somebody, you apologize. No, to I don't want to apologize. No, I don't want to apologize. Get out. I changed my mind. These people suck. I would suggest you go to another. This difficult customer got into this heated argument with the wrong employee who happened to have a temper just as short as this customer's when he decided to come from behind the counter and confront him, leaving him humiliated. Thanks for watching guys and if you want to see more episodes like this, please subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on.